What's up, real world? Twisted luck. Hope everybody's good. Thank you for being here. Uh, today is a Sunday, and I wasn't going to uh, put a video out today. And uh, then that changed. So I just I just saw something funny, and I thought um, I thought I would my first thoughts seeing it. So I, I thought I would just share my thoughts, and instead of no video today, I shall bestow upon you. A short video. I think that's the intention of, as of right now, anyway. So I'm watching this video, and, I'm, and the powers that be are probably going to frown and do do number two all over this video because uh, because I'm not going along with the program. And might say things carefully, mind you, but still things um, against you know communities. Not really against communities, but just speaking reality and logic and real world things. So I saw this clip, this a TikTok clip of this person talking about um, how children, young children, uh, really do understand um, this gender fluidity and all this non-binary uh, whatever and all this, uh, all these shenanigans that we hear so much of lately about how you can, you know, pretend to be whatever you want. And you can even uh, switch back and forth. Like today, maybe I'll be a boy, and tomorrow, well, heck, maybe I'll be a lady. And then maybe even I'll start the day off as a lady tomorrow. But then come midday, maybe I'll be like, you know what? I want to be a man again. And perhaps even a couple hours later, I want to be neutral. I want to be a gender nomad. A gender nomad. I'm just right down the middle, like you know, playing for all teams can't say both teams anymore because as we know there isn't just two right there's as many as we want them to be as we want there to be right so uh and this person is like children really do understand it so those people those adults it, it's ignorant adults that are the problem they're the ones saying that kids can't comprehend it and he or she i honestly couldn't tell which one it was supposed to be but uh, it was it was uh, talking about how it explained it to its own kids, and I know I was gonna play the clip here, but I, I think they this platform doesn't uh, really like TikTok clips played here, and we'll face some things if we do that. So I'm just gonna explain it instead. Um, but they so this person has decided. To be one of these, you know, fluid people who just, you know, oh, today I feel like this, and today I feel like this, and tomorrow I'll feel like this. So, well, wait a minute. So, you know, the kid says, well, I don't know what to call you. You know, like a little kid, a little kid, or a couple little kids, right? We call you mom or dad, because that's all I know. Mom for mom and dad for dad. That's what the other kids have. What the heck do I have? Mom, dad. Uh, and he, she, whatever, says, uh, makes up some other names and says well call me this and he goes on to explain and the kids loved it they just loved it they went along with it and they started saying it they even came up with some of their own names they just loved it and and now uh one of their kids started asking his boy or girl i don't remember which one it was little kid like a four-year-old what do you feel like you are do you feel more like a boy or a girl right and then it was like, let's just say it was a girl, and was like, I feel like a boy, or whatever, right? Want to be like what you see? So they're like, I have a gender, I have, I have a fluid kid too. How, how magical! I have a fluid child. How cool is this? And they do get it. And see, it, it is, you know, it does come from birth. It is genetic or whatever. You know, it's not a choice that they make as an adult. It's because look, this little four-year-old already she decides she's a boy but then sometimes she goes back to being a girl and she totally understands so it's ignorant adults it's ignorant adults that are the problem when they say we shouldn't teach this to kids and can, kids can't comprehend this and uh that that's just all ignorance that's that's ignorant that's just ignorant it's all ignorance there's doo-doo feces all over the walls <laughs> that that just reminded me of that clip. They're just ignorant. They're ignorant. 
I don't know if I do a good MJ or not. I've never listened to it. But anyway, um, so he's like, hmm, so take that, take that, you see? My kid, my kids get it. They're like, yay, okay, cool. And they get it, and they believe it, and they know it, and uh, it's it's adult nonsense that says that they won't go along with it, and they won't fully understand it. All right, all right. I'll see you that fluidity, and I'll raise you Santa Claus, my friend. So the kids also believe what? Tooth Fairy, Easter Bunny. I should have put a warning, right? Have, don't have your kids around, uh, just in case. But, I mean, obviously Santa Claus is real. Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy and everything is real. And, the, you know, Easter Bunny, all that. We all know that. We have to believe. If we stop believing, they'll stop coming. All right, now, now back with me again. So the kids, we tell the kids all sorts of things, right? We tell the kids that, uh, you know, Santa, these magical stories of Santa Claus and Easter Bunny. And, we got, and it's elaborate, right? We got the North Pole and there's elves and there's snow and there's talking snowmen and there's like train and you know, farm life that can fly through the air, right? We got deep with this. And um, the kids believe it, right? The kids actually envision uh, deer flying through the air with magic, right? And it's awesome. It's awesome, you know, and it, kids' magic. Uh, you know, it, it, magical things, happy things to kids. Uh, a, a, a little fairy that flies throughout the air, Uh sprinkling pixie dust and things like that not the same magical pixie dust well maybe it is maybe maybe the people the people the makers of the kool-aid are actually capturing tooth fairies and things like that and bottling the pixie dust and putting it in the kool-aid before putting it out to the people but you know what i mean so we got this you know it comes along and she's you know sprinkles things and she drags along with her a dollar bill that's like bigger than her or five dollar bill whatever it is uh, that's bigger than her somehow and she you know puts it under the pillow or coins that are heavier than her and then she lugs his teeth what she does with the teeth I don't know I don't know but you know it kind of gets could be a little creepy how you but whatever right this elaborate story we got the East, this giant life-size rabbit you know hopping around where he comes from I don't know and he's got uh, he's, he, he brings chocolate you know because it's easter so what does easter mean chocolate bunnies <laughs> you know what i mean but anyway that's a different show but um we have these big elaborate things and and kids we tell them to kids and kids right into it and they love it and they soak it up and they start thinking up their own things right oh maybe this maybe that because they're imaginative right and when you plant a seed to grow imagination guess what grows when you water it imagination right so no matter what you what seed you plant what what you're telling these kids once you plant that imagination seed and then you start watering it imagination's going to grow so this for this guy girl that person whatever it was to be like you see that's proof right there that's proof right there that kids just they believe it and they're fine with it and they even like it yeah well they elves elves flying farm life you know what i mean so you're, you're not proving anything there if anything you're helping disprove it because yeah you could tell a kid anything i remember my brothers and sisters i'm the oldest there's four of us right and i'm the oldest by eight years so um i would bait i would be you know tasked to babysit sometimes and you know they would once mom and dad were out they're like huh yeah now we're now we're gonna you know we run this we run this and i'm like hey if you haven't noticed i'm four feet taller than you i could step on all of you right but no you know so they still want to push buttons and stuff because it's a sibling they don't respect a sibling like they respect the parents so i developed a story <laughs> i actually feel bad now but you know keep in mind we were kids well i was a little bit older but not like old i was still a minor um to to help them to help me get them to behave i developed this creature called the mangrosaurus 
who lived in this tree that uh, was out front in the front yard. And from the front living room window, if you looked out, you could see it. And this Mangrosaurus had, uh, I envisioned like this big oversized kind of mean looking scraggly crow type of thing with a big evil beak and red eyes, right? And he would watch and he would always, he, he's looking at nighttime, he's looking. It seemed to me he would only come out when I babysit. I don't know why, but he's out there looking and he's looking through the front window. And even if the blinds are closed or the curtains are closed, he could see. And uh, he's trying to, he's just trying to make sure kids are being good. It's kind of like that, um, cro what is it, crocus? Cro what, crocus? What is that evil German thing? Like instead of Santa, have this mean thing that comes and snatches kids and throws them in the woods. I don't know, something like that. But if the kids are being bad, the Mangrosaurus will come crashing through the window. And I don't know what I said it would do, but it would come in, right? So it helped to a degree. There was some suspicion. You know, because they're like, and I'd be like, don't look for it. It'll, it'll come get you if it catches you looking for it, if you know you're looking for it. So that was just enough. They were like, mm, I think BS, but there is a small chance, so we're not going to mess around. And the thing is, and then I forgot about it. Years later, I found out that they were actually really scared of this thing. And because I brought it up, and everybody remembered it, and uh, I we all drew pictures of it. So I, when everybody was older... They ha it was funny, or not funny, I guess. It was funny, but, you know, I felt bad that they still had a mental image of the Mangrosaurus, but each one of them had a different image of it. Um, so I drew my image, you know, separately. Nobody looked at each other's. Everybody drew their own image of the Mangrosaurus, or, you know, rough drawing at least. And uh, everybody had something different, but everybody remembered it. But my point there is they all believed it because I planted the seed and then I watered it with specifically the type of water I wanted to use to grow a certain thing from the imagination and that's what he's doing that's what people are doing be like oh yeah you can be whatever you want you can be whatever you want right and uh and and then and but then you do that right you're especially a parent the kids look up to the parent right and they want to be just like the parent so of course the kid's going to be like oh well, I want to do that too. I, yeah, I feel. I I also feel like a girl. I also want to wear a dress, Dad. I mean, I mean, Zambombly do, or whatever crazy name you told me to call you instead of Dad, right? Actually messing with my head and damaging me, uh, and then going on TikTok and boasting about it as you know, outsiders are are the stupid ones. Come, it's just so free of logic, right? I don't know. Maybe it's part of what's being put in the air and the water and the magnetic food or whatever the hell it is but it is not something developed from birth this is not a thing right and then i'm also curious can these people uh when they have a pet a dog right i really really want to meet somebody like that but i don't want them suspect they can't be suspect otherwise my line of questioning won't work so you know, it would be so awesome to like, go to their house. So, hey, and, and nice to meet you. And I'll even call you your silly rain. I'll play your silly reindeer games briefly for a moment uh, just to just to kind of get in there and be like high five and or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah, you, you and me, we're friends. I'll call you whatever you want for a moment and be like, oh, awesome dog. And get them talking and see if they start using a he or a she. And when they use a he or a she, they're like, Oh, oh, he's a boy? Yeah, yeah, he's a boy. Oh, that's great. How do you know he's a boy? How do you know he's a boy? Because when you pick him up or look under or otherwise see the undercarriage, you see boy parts. So you call your dog a boy. Or you see girl parts, lack of boy parts, and your dog's a girl, right? So what's the difference, right? So what, how come science, how come science, which has two, right, will dictate what your pet is, but uh, but it's different for every other, for, it's different for the human species. Every other species, no, 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 no. Right, the, the, the uh, well, I was going to use uh, the bits and pieces, no matter what, what gender they are, they represent, identify the, the animal's gender, right? But not people, not people, no, that's, that doesn't, uh, uh, the, the, the male bits on a, on a, on a human doesn't mean anything, right? It's all suggestive. 
that's that's just you know all those mean is uh what method you have to do you use to pee right sit or stand that's all but that's got nothing to do with anything else yeah they're gonna they're gonna do number two all over this video um but uh oh well it is what it is but you, you know what i mean it's it's absolute nonsense so what's the moral of the story what's the moral of this story well i'll tell you the moral of this story is that kids are incredibly stupid <laughs> And they're going to believe anything you tell them because they're so dumb. Kids are so stupid. They believe anything. It's so awesome. You look at anything you tell them. They're so dumb. Uh, no, obviously just kidding. I love my kids. Kids are my kids are my entire whole wide everything in the whole universe, universe who I will literally do anything for. And I will do anything to protect all of our kids. Uh, so, yeah, no, they're not stupid. They're, they are... Um, they have a genuine mind still, right? And what they do, they trust, they trust the parent, the guardian, whatever it is, whoever that is supposed to be there to protect them, teach them, protect them in every way, mentally and emotionally too, right? They rely on those people to, to teach them about the world and, and teach them what's real, right? And rely on that person. And they don't doubt that person. They don't they don't have doubt in that person when they when they establish that trust to think that they're lying to you. You know, lying to the kid they fully trust so that's where the damage comes in you know unfortunately there's people that are really well just like YouTube made number two on this video these people are number two and all over these kids these poor kids innocent minds right these innocent developing minds and that's a shame that's a shame and it makes me feel bad about the whole Santa Claus and all that thing that's the only thing I don't like and then you know when the, when the time does come that they realize things you know oh that makes me feel so bad but anyway you see what i mean you see what i mean so making that point that look oh the kids love it they went along with it no 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 they go along with anything that you give to them because they look up to you and they they believe what you say and they want to be like you no matter what you are they want to be like you you know my my, my daughters my little girls want to be just like me you know and it's it's flattering and it's honoring you know it's makes me feel good you know that they're always walking around doing everything they can to try to grow a beard you know they really want that beard and I tell them you know well you can't be just like daddy <laughs> no so not 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 so much the beard I might be exaggerating a little bit there but for real you know they idolize you and they look up to you and those are the people that they, they should idolize not these fake people on TV and um, in movies and all these things they should idolize the the true people in their lives right and those people shouldn't take advantage of that and un unfortunately it's they sadly do real quick before we go I want, I want to just share something real quick uh, I'm glad a lot of you seem to like that little skit that I made uh, put out that little short um, I actually really like doing things like that well first I want to say that comment I, I I hadn't read comments yet I try to keep up with comments as much as I can but that one was brought to my attention I said oh I wanted I, it was funny to me so I wanted to see it and by the time I saw that comment where, you know, somebody basically came by and was like, I don't like this. This is dumb. This is a dumb channel. But maybe I'll come back one day and see if there's anything worth my time to watch. <laughs> For one, right, I laughed at that. But to one, hey, you guys are awesome. You know that? By the time I even saw that comment, it's got a slew of responses of people, you know, in defense and just talking logic like well then move along why what was the purpose of that information really you know so you guys are awesome you you are uh, this is a great community here and and you're just awesome I appreciate all of you not not just the ones that commented there but all of you and many of you have done so much um, whether it's support like that uh, people modding for you know offering the mod for the channel people uh, make, making donations to the channel just everything comments sharing you know everything 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 your views uh everything is you're awesome i appreciate all of you so but i thought that was funny and what is also funny is i've seen a lot of youtube channels right and i don't often come across something that i stick with i come across a channel sometimes little things i laugh at you know move along laugh at move along whatever but it's not common that i come across a channel that i stick with you know that i say oh i like this I'm gonna keep coming back here. There, there are some, and every once in a while, a new one, right? But uh, it's cool when you do find one. But I will tell you this: when I go 
I, I've found, I've gone, come across many channels, many videos where they have, you know, literally millions of subscribers and some with a hundred subscribers, right? And I don't like it. It's not for me. You know, whatever the content is, I'm like, well, it's not for me. But you know what I don't do? I don't, let me, let me come in here and make a comment and, and let them know that this is not for me. This is just not for me. Um, uh, Hi, I, I don't like the content here. This is not the type of thing that I enjoy. Maybe I'll come back. Maybe I'll grace you with my return one day, if you're very lucky, to see if you've done anything that I might like. But in the meantime, psh, no time for you. You know, I would never do that because, well, for one, I'm not a Karen, and I hate that. I feel bad for the people genuinely named Karen that this has become a thing. Uh, <laughs> but you know what I mean? What a freaking Karen. Looks like this is just something stupid that I don't like. Maybe I'll come back one day and see if it's worth my time. You know, it's so stupid. Who does that? And who's not then embarrassed by having done that, right? And I hope that person, someone that does that, does not at some point in their lives refer to anybody as a Karen because you, my friend, are Karen. <laughs> but, but I thought it was funny, and I do enjoy things like that because it... Right away, I, I was like, oh, that skit popped in my mind, and I wanted to make that skit. I was like, oh, this would be fun. And I do like making those skits every once in a while, and uh, maybe I'll do some more of them because I, I love I love watching them. And actually, my kids, someone asked me, Lori D, OG here on this channel, she asked me recently in a comment if my kids watch these videos. Generally, no, they don't watch my videos because she said she likes that, you know, it's family-friendly, and they could. Uh, typically, I try to keep it as much as I can. Uh, family friendly in case a kid does walk in the room or but typically no they don't watch uh, these videos um, they'll watch like little live things or funny things but they did watch that and they thought that was a riot and they keep asking to watch it over and over again they they can't get enough of that and I like making it so maybe we'll do more of that maybe we'll keep that character too we'll have to give her him it a name uh, if we do but uh, I enjoyed making it so I'm glad you guys enjoyed watching it Anyway, and you guys just rock. You're so awesome. What a great community. But yeah, so I've never I've never just left that comment because also whether they have a million subscribers or they have 50 subscribers, you know what that tells me? It tells me that other people enjoy what they're seeing, right? And I'm the odd man out because it's just not for me. And that's fine, right? Why would I feel so offended or something by what I'm seeing that I better let them know. I've got to tell you. Oh, oh. I can't believe I came across something I don't like. What? What? This is ridiculous. Instead of just swiping like a normal person, going to the next one, you know, or doing whatever you want to do like normal people do, right? Who does that? Who stops and does that, you know? That's just, I don't know, that was just very crazy to me. I hope they haven't deleted the comment. I pinned it to the top in that video. Um, what video was that? What video was that? I don't remember, but it was like two days ago, I think. Um, so I hope they don't delete it because it was fun, but, uh, or it became funny, but you know, who, who, who does that? Le leave it. Don't, don't, don't watch it. Do you think there's anybody that cares even the slightest bit to hear you say it's not for you? So what? So what? There is not a person that cares, right? But you know, that person lives their life th this way. You know, there are people that cringe when they see that person coming because we've all dealt with people like that. We're like, oh, God, here's this guy that, you know, stands in line at the grocery store or lady, you know, keeps complaining about the price of the things that they're carrying, waiting to pay for, hoping that someone will, they're, they're saying it so someone will be like, oh, yeah, I know. They're like, oh, this milk, so expensive, ridiculous how milk has gotten expensive. I remember a time when milk was stuck there. I don't even, I shouldn't even drink it anymore. I won't, I shouldn't even drink it anymore. I should right? Hoping that somebody's going to bite and, and, and say something so they can have a, a conversation and grump together about it, right? But instead, the people in the line are like, oh my God, would this person just shut up so don't buy the milk? Don't buy the milk. I will pay you to not buy the milk and just leave right now so I don't have to listen to you anymore. We've all dealt with people like that. So just smile a little bit. Smile, right? Look at the world in a positive light and you'll be happier for it. The rest of you, you rock so much and I appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Twist of luck, truth. I'll see you soon.